Hello everybody, welcome to a new analysis video. Today we will dive into the hoisting system of the orbital launch tower. First, I will cover the most important components one by one, which will include the wire rope and supply reel, the sheaves, blocks and of course the infamous huge straw works that made its first appearance at Starbase back in June. Then we will see how they all work together in harmony, to allow for a powerful catching mechanism that will literally catch falling rockets. First, in order for the hoisting system to work, it will need a very strong wire rope, which for this particular system will measure either 1 inch and 3 eighths or 1 inch and 3 fourths in diameter, although I would put my money on the latter, especially after seeing the load that is intended to be lifted and caught and also the draw works that is going to be used here, which is in its most potent configuration. I will get to that in a minute. Wire ropes are made up of three basic parts. The core, which is usually made of either weak synthetic fiber or a strong wire strand. The strands, which wrap up the core. And finally, the individual wires that form set strands. Usually, wire rope is made of galvanized or stainless steel. All this wire rope will be provided by the supply reel, which we can clearly see in this picture. The next component needed to lift the catching arms are the two blocks that contain the sheaves through which the wire rope will be looped several times. The block on top of the tower is appropriately called the crown block and this one will not move, it will remain fixed in place. The second block is called the traveling block and this one will be responsible for moving the catching arms up and down as needed. Both blocks will be interconnected through several lines of wire rope. The next crucial component and perhaps the most eye-catching one is the draw works which are commonly used in the oil drilling industry. This model in particular is an automated draw works system from the company NAV Rig Technologies called ADS-30Q where the Q stands for quadruple motor at 1500 horsepower each, totaling in 6000 horsepower. These motors use alternating current in order to provide significantly more power and also allow for regenerative braking. This is commonly seen in electric vehicles and basically regenerative braking is an energy recovery mechanism that slows down a moving vehicle or object by converting its kinetic energy into a form of energy that can be stored and fed back later to provide power to the electric motor. This bad boy measures 377 inches in length and 138 inches in width, has enough power to lift over 1100 metric tons of weight, which equal to roughly 2,500,000 pounds, and weighs over 74 metric tons or 164,000 pounds. It uses two brakes at 48 inches in diameter that are both water and air cooled. These are high capacity friction plate braking systems that offer precision control and are actually by an electrohydraulic thruster with many thousand pounds of clamping force. Another unique characteristic of the alternating current control system and the regenerative braking is that it will allow the draw works to hold the load in place as long as it doesn't move without the need to use the friction plate brakes. So now that we know a little bit more about the main components of Megasilla's hoisting system, let's find out how they all work together. So once every component is in place, the wire rope is run from the supply reel up the mast of the tower to the crown block. Then it is looped several times between both the crown block and the traveling block sheaves, which in its current configuration will yield 16 lines, and it is then lowered to the draw works. An adequate working length of wire rope is then reeled onto the draw works drum and once this step has been completed, the supply reel end of the wire rope will be fixed to the tower with the help of yet another crucial piece, a so-called deadline anchor that will hold the rope in place so that it doesn't keep running out of the supply reel, which would render the whole hoisting system useless. Once everything is ready, the draw works will reel the wire rope in and out in order to lift or lower the catching arms. Thanks to Lunar Caveman for this amazing infographic of the whole lifting system. Alright everyone, thank you for making it to the end of yet another video. I hope you enjoyed it and could learn a couple of new things. I really wish I could produce more videos more rapidly. Hopefully someday in the not so distant future I will become a full time content creator. But until then I will keep producing as often as I can. Other than that I will see you all next week again with a new video. 
So I wish you all a very nice day, whatever you are, and um, take care. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.